guys, this is amazing. My wife is gonna cook for me. She's gonna be making pierogies. That's butter right there. That's butter. Look at that. There's butter all over the pan. That's a lot of butter all over the pan. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. No, asshole. Whoops. Fuck you. <sighs> Mrs. T's feet and spin feet. Feta. feta. Damn. And savory onion. Oh my god. I think I should go smoke a pipe and have another beer while my wife is cooking in and the then kitchen, run my feet right? After work. No! I don't understand. What? I, 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 I couldn't hear what my wife just said. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Ooh, she's threatening me. Ooh. Here I am, ready to pack my second bowl, and I'm like, all right, something's wrong. The tobacco I want is not here. Oh, that's right, because it's outside where I was just smoking it. There we go, that's what I'll be smoking right now. Hamburger Veer Master. Abraham Lincoln, yo. Pierogies and onions. And scallions on top. And broccoli too. The bed sheets will smell magnificent tonight. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? The Polish Piper Nick here. This is gonna be a legit, this is a legit video. It's a legit video. A legit pipe video. How's everybody doing? Well, I am smoking my Ardor Urano, and in it, some hamburger Veer Master by Dan Tobacco. Which is an excellent Virginia, I might add. I've got my Drop Bear Woodworks Pipe Nutter Tamper that was gifted by Glenn at the Chicago Pipe Show. This was a gift from my man, Joe Case. I've got my Heart and Pine Pipe Rest. Pine Pipe Rest by Heart and Pine. Thank you, boys. I got that at the pipe show as well. What am I drinking? I'm drinking an IPA. I'm drop this. County Line IPA by Neshaminy Creek out of Pennsylvania. Ah, it's a great evening here in New Jersey. It was absolutely horrendously hot today. Went out at 7 o'clock this morning for a bike ride. Thought I was going to do a few miles. I rode down to the gas station to put air in my tires. When I say ride, I mean my, my bike, my bicycle, not motorcycle. I'm not that badass. Um, so I went down there and I was like, hmm. I thought I was going to do a few miles, but I ended up doing 17 miles on the bike. Came home. 
I did the laundry, and then I went to the pool, swam for 15 minutes, did a few laps, sunbathed, I exposed my beautiful body to the sun, the sun cooked me for a while, and then I came back home. So it's been a very relaxing day off. So, yep, my wife is making pierogies for dinner. Yes, I'm freaking excited. Even though they're Mrs. T's pierogies, Mrs. T's pierogies makes kick-ass pierogies. But nobody, nobody makes pierogies as badass, as badass as my mom. So, what's this video about? Is this another bullshit Polish Piper video? who doesn't do tobacco reviews, or cigar reviews, or pipe reviews, or anything. No, this is a legit freaking tobacco YouTube pipe community Polish Piper video. Why am I talking like this? Why am I making a legit video? Well, frankly, I'm two beers in, so. Ooh, two beers in. Some of you may say, but shoot, when you don't drink during, you know, uh, a health loss, not, I'm sorry, Jesus, not health loss, weight loss journey, yikes, um, when you don't drink during a weight loss journey, I've drank during my weight loss journey, but it's been a severe reduction, but I enjoy my beers. So what happens is that you're, I slowly am getting caught up to it. So, what I wanted to talk about is preparing, preparing Virginia tobaccos with IPAs. Um, Virginia's, I'm not a tobacco tobacco reviewer by any means of the sort. To me, Virginia's are smooth. They were creamy, chewy smoke. and spicy, they have a spice to it. That's why I think Virginia's pair are fantastic with IPAs, which are very hoppy beers. And here I'm having an Ashamini Creek, uh, what the hell was it again? Oh, County Line IPA. And now a lot of people don't like IPAs. I love IPAs, I am an IPA whore. I gotta thank CMK325I for introducing me to this. Now I don't want to make this video long. Now, IPAs, they may be, they may be bitey. They may have like this nice spicy, t spicy texture to it. Not like hot or pepper or anything. So like a nice bitey, spicy texture to it, which I love. Can be uh, floral, citrusy, and they pair. They just pair well with Virginias. It's a lot of Virginias, spicy, uh, have a citrusy esque uh, taste to it, ketchupy. That's why I think Virginia's and IPA's go hand in hand together. So, oh, what does my wife want? What you want, woman? You want to look at it? Look at what? I'm busy doing a a, a beer and pipe tobacco uh, pairing review here. Wow. I'm, I'm trying to be like uh, the beer and backy reviewer guys. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Pretty pathetic. 
Yo, go back in the kitchen. Yo, your dinner's almost fucking ready. All right, I'll be right there. You better be. I will be there quick if you don't interrupt me anymore. Okay. I'm trying to make this a short video, and here you are intruding on my time. The women, the wives. So. So in short, Virginia's and IPA beers, hand in hand. The spiciness, creaminess, floral citrusy-esque notes of Virginia's go hand in hand with IPA's because IPA's, very hoppy, have a nice spicy bite to it, citrus notes, floral notes, they, it's, 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 you have to try it. You just have to try it. You'll be thanking me. Just, you should just be thanking me anyway because I'm a member of the YouTube Hype community. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plated pierogies, so broccoli, scallions, onions.